Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a premiere video, but this is for the Tuesday album review. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do the this video exactly on Tuesday because I'm going to be working 11 to 5 p.m. So I'm going to be really busy Tuesday. But this is for Season 4, Episode 15. And this is going to be for Motionless and White Graveyard Shift. The re-review that I'm going to do for you guys. And hopefully you'll enjoy it. It was supposed to be something else, but I decided to do this album for Motionless and White Graveyard Shift. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this 2017 album by Motionless and White for this re-review and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this Tuesday album review for Season 4, Episode 15. Um, now, like I said, this is premiering on the 13th, probably by 2 p.m. or so. Uh, but, yeah, the first song is Rats, and that one was a little weird. I didn't hate it. I think it's a good song, just has its weak moments with the production and the mixing and the electronic synth stuff and all that, uh, with the synth stuff in the song. I don't know if it worked very well, but the way Chris Motionless was singing the song was a little weird too. But it's a solid track, so 4.5 out of 5. I didn't hate this track. I just had my weird... I had weird feelings about this track, so I was unsure what to think of it. But I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5. Queen for Queen is the next song, and that was a banger for sure. I really like this song. Uh, the chorus is pretty memorable. I like the Don't Stop Breathing in the Chemicals lyric. It's such a... Probably one of my favorite breakdowns of the song. And there's a lot of good breakdowns in this track. And this is a song you have to hear live, for sure, <laughs> from the band itself. But Chris Motionless sounds really good singing and screaming-wise in this track. So really enjoyed this uh, track, for sure. He does a few screams through most of this track. So 5 out of 5 for Queen for Queen. Necessary Evil featuring Jonathan Davis from Korn. Um, this song was pretty good for sure it was a banger but it had the part where it had it's my party and i'll die when i want to lyric so it's uh, a weird melody for sure when it comes in for that part basically sorry if i pause for a second just lost my train of thought for a moment yeah when it comes into that it's my party lyric that's where I don't know if I like it, but it still does pretty good execution-wise. So, Jonathan Davis sounded good in the uh, album version for this track. So, 5 out of 5. Soft is the, next, is the next song on the album. That was a banger for sure. This song has some really messed up lyrics for sure, but uh, it does very well with the execution. And Chris Motionless's delivery for his screams and his sings, his clean sings and all that sound really good. The chorus is pretty memorable, for sure. And the screams are very good in this track. Uh, there's a lyric called, suck my middle effing finger or whatever. <laughs> it's so messed up. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> It's so messed up for sure, but it's a really good song in my opinion, so 5 out of 5. Untouchable has some cheesy lyrics on it. I don't hate this track, I just think it's good in its own way. It has some good drum work, and instrumentally it's very well done. The synth stuff is alright, but Chris Motionless singing the lyrics with certain ones and getting repetitive with the Know My Name lyric and scream my name lyric and other things like that and saying I'm untouchable kind of thing it it just it's a something track so 4.5 out of 5 not my type dead as fuck 2 is a decent one not my favorite song it's probably the weaker one out of everything on this album 
So four out of five. It's got weird electronic sense in the track that I don't know if I connect with. And just the melody and the way Chris Motionless is singing it is weird. And some of the screams is solid. But it doesn't perform the best way it could with this track. So four out of five. Uh, the latter is a banger for sure. I really enjoyed this track. And I can definitely uh, headbang to this song for sure. It's pretty fast, pretty heavy. And the beginning is just pretty weird with the girl talking. The who could she, you know, F or whatever. <laughs> it's really messed up lyrics and all that. But it works with the execution and the delivery. So pretty good song. So five out of five. Voices is a song I can personally relate to because there are moments with my mental health that I feel that this song connected with me on a personal level with my mental health and all that. So that's why I dedicate this song to me fighting through depression and other things like that. But other than that, um, I really enjoyed this track. The breakdowns are pretty good, and Chris Motionless' screams and his clean sings through most of this track is really good. I really like how it's sounding. It's very anthemic, too, to really enjoy, so 5 out of 5. Loud Fuck It is, parentheses Fuck It, is one of my favorite tracks on this album. Another one of my favorite songs, so 5 out of 5 for this one. I really like how it's sounding. Overall, and Chris Motionless singing and screaming in this track is really good, and the production and mixing is very well received for sure, so 5 out of 5. 570 is a pretty good song. It's definitely heavy for sure, but it does very well with the execution and the delivery of the breakdowns and other things like that, so... Yeah, 5 out of 5 for this one. Hourglass is my favorite song for sure. When I first heard it, I fell in love with it for sure. It was one of my favorite songs. Another one of my favorite songs on this album. So, 5 out of 5. I like the chorus when it comes in. It sounds really good. And it does well. It's well received with how it performs and executes with the song. So... 5 out of 5 for Hourglass. I like the lyrics in it, too. It's pretty interesting. Uh, Eternally Yours is the final song on the album. It has this thing where Chris Motionless is doing this studio version. Or in the studio kind of version towards the end of the track. Where it sounds like he's singing through a microphone. Or not singing through a microphone and singing at his best potential at the end of the track, but pretty loud singing without a microphone and all that. It sounds pretty good. So really like how this song performed with most of it, studio-wise and off-studio-wise as well. So 5 out of 5 for Eternally Yours. Overall, production, mixing, and execution, I think Motionless and White Graveyard Shift for this re-review I did for you guys I think it's a pretty good album, for sure. It has a few weak songs on this album. Like, Not My Type, Dead As Fuck 2 is probably my least favorite. But other than that, it's the album did pretty well. And they had uh, Rats and Untouchable was my another part of my least favorites on this album. But other than that, pretty good album. So overall, I think... Motionless and White's uh, Graveyard Shift for this re-review I did for you guys is a pretty good listen. Highly recommend you check it out for yourself and see what you think of it. It came out over five years ago, but it's a pretty well done album. And for a score for me, I'm giving Motionless and White's Graveyard Shift re-review for this Tuesday album review. I'm going to give it a 8.5 out of 10. Pretty good listen. Definitely recommend checking it out for yourself and see what you think of it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this re-review. For I'm having to call it a re-review because I did review it a few years ago, back in 2018 or something like that. I can't remember when.
but I remember reviewing it years ago, and I just wanted to call this a re-review, so hopefully you enjoyed it. And the Disguise album review will have a re-review for sure, um, probably in season five of Tuesday album reviews. But anyways, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of Motionless and White's Graveyard Shift for this Tuesday album review for Season 4, Episode 15, if you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed this Motionless and White Graveyard Shift re-review, I did for you guys for this Tuesday album review for Season 4, Episode 15. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can. Support the channel. This is premiering on the 13th at 2 p.m., so definitely tune in to this review. And the next Tuesday album review will have another premiere. Uh, there's going to be a couple premieres towards the end of the Tuesday album reviews season and all that. Uh, I got to see how... I mostly got to work Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday now, because that's what my... So, one of my bosses told me uh, to work, so I gotta do what I gotta do to make money, of course, but hopefully they don't schedule me for five days a week. I can do four, but I can't do over that, because <laughs> I got prior things to do during the week, but I'll still be making them some money and all that, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, um, or I'll be making some money. For those four days, I meant to say. But still, I hope you enjoyed this Tuesday album review for Season 4, Episode 15. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible for Motionless and White Graveyard Shift re-review. Stay safe, guys. Take care. And as always, I will see you in my next review.